And this is what I was talking about, about having Friday night gathering and stuff. You know, put a small stage up there, put the corner there, gather in, put people in the Bible that they didn't want to do. And it just has such a character about it that, that, that we just, when it, for HR ministry, this is spectacular. This is spectacular. I love it. You know, have a presence downtown if we do it right, if we put it together right. Exactly. Why be good for folks to join us and get in this building taken care of? Well, I guess I think of the word opportunity. Because when you're across the street, you know how wonderful that is, but you're elbow to elbow. You've got more clothes and more things that people need that you, can, that you could get to them and help people with, but you can't get to it because you're just out of space. And what you see when you walk in here is opportunity. You can see a mother learning how to care for her children because she hadn't had any training. You can see an older man meeting a new friend, and a senior adult Christian who may has retired, doesn't have anything really much to do and feel like a value in their life, well, they can find all that here with more space. You just multiply that over and over. Prayer center over there, I don't think your group ever got to go to the prayer center, but uh, formulate some type of prayer center over there, put bathrooms, the justice bathrooms, so rework those so that a team like your own, if they want to, put a kitchen in the back right here, so the kids can stay in that room, help us with the stuff, here for the story, and move from HR Ministries is busting at the seams right now. They've got a huge need, and God has answered that need in this building that's right, I'm standing right next to right now, with office space, uh, dormitory space, shop space. Off it, it's just incredible what God is going to do with this building for them. Um, starting out at an astronomical price and working its way down to $50,000. Can you help? Oh, you better believe you can help. If you, as a church or as a believer, will put your hand into your pocket or into the church coffers and just give a couple of hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or as an individual, five dollars, God can use it for this building to be used for His kingdom. The sooner they get the fifty thousand dollars, the sooner they can get started and get the ministry growing again. There are, I think, about eight thousand, seven thousand dollars short. What about it? Can you help? Would you be willing to send a check to HR Ministries so that they can see the God, the God ordered work that they're involved in carrying on. It's up to you, not us. We're standing in the front room of the new building that we're looking at um, purchasing. As I say that, we've had opportunity to bring several volunteers, including mission teams in today and some other volunteers who have some skills to think about what we're doing. Um, I want to give you a quick update and that is after about five weeks, uh, we've had 41,000 committed and most of it in uh, to the building. Uh, we've got some time left, but that means we've got about eight, 9,000 left to go. In the mix of that, the quicker we get it, the, the, the more money we save by getting things moved and dealing with the temperatures at the other building and the equipment that would have to be bought, those kind of things. Uh, we just ask that you consider that and pray for us. Uh, we've got lots of opportunity in front of us. We've already seen 30 people saved this weekend in preparation for Soul Quest, there's a lot happening, and uh, so at this time, just in brief, we want to let you know, here's the deal. Um, we're looking, searching for the opportunity to go ahead and get in this building. We're at 41,000, 50,000 is the goal. You pray about it, tell other folks, and we're excited about what God wants to do with it.